Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Um, first, I just want to say I am sorry for not posting on Thursday, even though last week I did say that I was going to have my normal upload schedule. Just with the way the things in the world are right now, I didn't feel comfortable posting. I really um, wanted to take a step back, reflect, and just do some work internally and figure out like what I can do to help um, my community, those in need, etc. I'm going to have some links in the description box. Um, they're going to have places to donate, um, just helpful resources that I found that people have shown me or videos that people have created. Uh, just right now, a lot of the black community just needs allies. And that's what I want to be. I want to be an ally. So I am doing a lot of research, reading, etc., um, to try to better myself and then have some of those harder conversations with friends and family. So <sighs> there's just a lot. We need to just keep this momentum going. But that is not what this video is about. This video is about my brush declutter series. And I think that this is going to be the last video on it. And if I just declutter stuff, um, my brushes, I will include them in my trash it or cash it. Now I am going to see if anyone wants these brushes in my personal life. My plan is to clean these with Dr. Bronner soap and then either list them online or donate them somehow without delving too much. I kind of want this video to be short, sweet, to the point. I'm just going to talk about brushes that I'm decluttering, how many brushes total I've decided to declutter through this series. Sometimes it just, you need to like hold yourself accountable to like actually get rid of crap to do it. Otherwise I would have held on to all of these brushes forever. And there's, there's quite a few, there's, there's quite a few. So first I just kind of want to recap the brushes that I mentioned in my last video. If you didn't catch it, that's fine. It's like, I don't think anyone really watches the series. This series is for me so I can hold myself accountable. So last time we talked about a few brushes and I did not bring some in here. Hmm. How convenient. So I guess I'm going to just talk about the ones that I'm decluttering because the other ones, they're staying in my collection. It's not a big deal. So out of eight brushes that I talked about last time, I'm decluttering three of them. So the first is a blush brush. This is just a little too scratchy. That was really it. I don't have time to like, it just irritated my skin a little bit she's going. I think it's more just the, it's a natural hair brush, so it's kind of to be expected. I do tend to stick to and reach for more synthetic brushes for the future. Just, I have sensitive skin, so this kind of thing does irritate my skin. So this guy's going as well as, I didn't think I was going to declutter this, and then I kind of just was like, yeah, I just, I reach for other ones over this. And that is this brush here. I use this one for highlighting my cheeks normally. Again, it's a natural hair brush. It's pretty thin. Um, out of this, I was keeping the Real Techniques setting brush, which is very similar, but it's a little bit more fluffy this way. So this guy is going, again, nothing wrong with the brush. I just tend to reach for the like blending style highlighting brushes or that Real Techniques one does the job too. So that's the second one to go. And then the third one I kind of knew I was going to get rid of when I put it in. I just needed that like extra accountability that I'm giving myself through this video series. And that was this pointed foundation brush. I just don't really know how to use these in a proper way. I did recently wash it so it's super soft now, but yeah. There was nothing, there was honestly nothing wrong with this. It's just, I don't, I'm not down with the pointed shape. That's really it. So those are the three brushes in this series, like that were in last video that I'm getting rid of. But oh boy, do I have a lot of brushes this month that I'm getting rid of. No rhyme or reason to how I'm going to talk about them. I am getting rid of this. This is like that brush I just showed you, but it's just double-sided and... I'm just not going to use it if I'm being quite honest. I guess I don't, I don't know really what to do with this brush. Maybe concealer, maybe something. I don't know. It's, I don't use it. So I'm, she's going to go to, and then another, this is a super dense, but small, like this is the blush brush that I had. So there's very similar shape, but this one's just so much smaller. I don't know what to use this for. So I'm just gonna cut my losses and say goodbye to that one. Also, I didn't think I was gonna get 
rid of this one, but this is just like an eye fan brush. I used it today and I just didn't like it. So I think I'm just kind of over the novelty of having these little tiny mini fan brushes in my collection. And I wanted to cut my foundation or like what I consider like more complexion, like cream complexion brushes. I have them like separated for like powder products and like liquid products in my like brush holders. So I have um, a few that were in like the highlight concealer and the first one is this Morphe RG6. It's just a really small flat top brush. And if I'm being honest, I like just something a little bit more dense because I like to just slap on my foundation in like a quick manner. I don't want to like sit there and have to like, this is just a little too small for my liking. So this one, not, again, nothing wrong with it. I don't even think I've used this brush. I just don't want it. Then I have a couple, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this one first. So I have this one and it, I don't really, I don't know if I've ever used it to be quite honest with you. I, I must have because the writing is wearing off. I just, I know that this is a discontinued brush. I can't really talk about it or I shouldn't talk about it on my channel. So she's gonna go. And then I have two like duo fiber brushes that I just, I really don't know what to do with them. So they just kind of sit and hang out and like never get used. And then I have two from my first round actually that I've just decided I don't need, I don't use, I haven't even, giving them a second glance after that like first video and the first one is a domed uh brush i think i would normally use this for contour but i just haven't and i have other brushes similar so i'm gonna say goodbye to this and then i have a pointed um brush and what i actually used to use this for was my powder concealer i would just tap it on underneath the eye i prefer a domed under eye concealer brush for my powder concealer. So I'm just gonna say goodbye to this one, cut my losses again. And then I've actually decided to undeclutter, re-clutter my collection with two brushes um, this month. I am undecluttering this just like large flat top brush. It is a shader brush that I got rid of because it was too big. However, I found that I like to pat my P. Louise base out with a big fat um, eyeshadow brush. So I just use this and pat my eye base out all over the eye and I like it for that so that is why I'm recluttering my collection with this and then when I was picking all the brushes out and figuring out like how many brushes I've gotten rid of I found this one and I think I got rid of it because it was scratchy but when I like went like this on my eye just to see it was fine so I'm gonna reclutter my collection with this but if the bristles are funky or like scratch me I'm getting rid of it on the spot I don't care so I'm recluttering my collection with these two. However, all in all, this month I got rid of 13 brushes and all together I got rid of 47 brushes. That is a large amount of brushes. Granted, I still have a large amount of brushes in my like vanity area. However, almost 50 brushes gone. I am counting that as a win. Honestly, that is it. I hope this video was short and sweet and to the point. You will not be seeing any more of these brush declutter series. If you want to see more, I will have them linked in the I and in the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, staying sane, and be well. All right, thanks. Bye.